Okay, g'day guys. So we are in my office today. It's absolutely pouring outside. The golf course is closed. So I thought I'd take this chance to talk a little bit about chipping and pitching uh, and promote my upcoming, upcoming short game masterclass, which is happening in the next couple of weeks, which is very cool. Um, so yeah, like if anyone has had chipping lessons or pitching lessons with me before, uh, they understand and they know that I coach a little bit unorthodox. I get you to stand slightly different um, over the ball, so change your address position slightly different to the way that you used to do it or maybe the way that you've been coached in the past. So I'm going to explain myself today and just show you what I'm talking about. So basically, um, if anyone's had short game lessons before, um, what you're taught is to have, have quite an open stance. So your left foot significantly further, further back than your right foot lean into the shot and have your hands uh, slightly forward. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my alignment stick here. Uh, I'm gonna put that across my belt buckle or across my hips there. So there is no question that when we're chipping, particularly when we're further away from the hole, that we need to rotate still. We need to turn like we were hitting like a full seven iron or a full driver. We still need to turn on the way back. Now if I have an open stance and I'm leaning into it, you can see how open my hips are, right? So what that means is when I rotate on the way back this way, if I pause there and use the alignment stick as a golf club, you can see my legs are a little tangled up. I certainly feel uncomfortable. All my weight's on my left, left side and I just don't feel athletic. So for me to return the club back down to the ball, it makes it very difficult to do. Now, this, beca this becomes quite problematic when maybe we've got an uphill lie, we've got a downhill lie. If you're trying to hit a shot off one leg, things can get a little bit messy. So what I do is we go the other way and we make it more comfortable for you, right? So basically, if I put this alignment stick down, I'm pretending like I'm hitting a shot that way. I have the right foot slightly further back than your left foot. So it's almost like a closed off stance and my left foot pointing more towards the target. So it looks like this. I'm gonna pause here just for you to take a look. It looks a little bit like that. Now, if I get rid of the golf club and just do exactly what I've just demonstrated with the alignment stick, if I am in this position here, so the club is square to the target or the alignment stick is square to the target, as I turn back and I'm in this position, again, I'm gonna use the alignment stick as a golf club. If I pause there, Straight away, I'm in a more athletic position and my legs are in a more comfortable spot, which allows me to return the club back down to the ball in a more comfortable position. So again, I've got my golf club. What I'm gonna do is at the end of this video, I'm gonna post a picture of Cameron Smith. Cameron Smith is a guy that I study a fair bit, particularly when it comes to his short game and his pitching and his chipping. So you'll notice Cameron has his right foot slightly further back, left foot towards the target, the ball is always middle of our stance. We don't have to have it all the way back. And we set up like this, which makes us a lot easier and a lot more comfortable to hit chip shots. So try this one, give it a go. Um, give me some feedback. Let me know how it all works out for you. Um, and the details of my masterclass will be on this email underneath here. So um, look forward to seeing you back at the golf course when it's raining.